Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you can hear me. So thank you very much for joining us all. Uh, I'm Luke Evans, and I'm here with my colleague, Atif. Um, and today, we're looking into ThingWorks Studio AR VR. So the world of product design and development is changing faster than ever before. So um, in this webinar, we'll be exploring the importance of having an AR VR strategy um, and the principles behind digital and physical conversion. The aim of this session is to give you an introduction into the key considerations for using AR VR in your business, some of the typical use cases of where it will benefit you and some potential new revenue streams. The webinar is being recorded and a link will be sent to you later on this week. The session will last for around about 25 minutes, with five minutes set aside at the end of the presentation for answering any of your questions. We invite you to submit your questions during the session rather than wait until the end, but if we do run out of time to answer all the questions, we will contact you directly. I'll now hand over to my colleague Atif will take you through the presentation. Thank you, Luke. So in today's webinar, we will go through the importance of AR and IoT, what you can expect to see over the coming years in terms of growth, an AR maturity model followed by an AR example itself. We'll then conclude on how this will create greater business opportunities for you and how it will affect the business. The Internet of Things is already changing the world we live in today. The way we interact with digital information is, is proving to be very valuable for both manufacturers and consumers. Using augmented reality with IoT further blurs the lines between the physical world and our digital world, allowing live information to be at our side whenever and wherever we need it most. Embedding sensors onto, say, for example, production lines can produce vast amount of valuable data that can be used to gain an edge over competitors. And having a visual display of this data makes for a more streamlined and efficient job completion, regardless of who is using it. But why is AR so valued in all of this? Well, it's pretty simple. It lets users see and examine mounds of information without having to turn to different sources or even having to go through the hassle of looking for the information. It's there and it's ready to use. Again, making a more streamlined use of the product. With this level of control, the possibilities are immense. And with all the income of data, it is very important to be able to use and manage all the data appropriately which augmented reality with AR, AR helps to achieve. AR is a growing industry. People are already adopting this technology, and with the increase of data, they can see that there will be a need to do something with it in a way that doesn't make it look so overwhelming. AR fills the gap here and is very useful for that which is why AR technology is predicted to see a consistent rise at a rate of 113% to reach a $215 billion business in just over three years. By 2025, IoT is seen to be worth up to an incredible $11 trillion through those nine main sectors, which you can see on the slide. And augmented reality can be applied to all of these different settings if wanted. It's just a matter of how you want to use it and how you want to implement it. The maturity of an augmented reality product can be defined with five stages. It all depends on what you want out of the technology. The very basic is a 2D overlay. At this level, most of what you will see is information streams potentially a list of features or a description or an instruction manual. It's very basic but efficient and it gets the information across to the user exactly how it needs to be. The second level is that of projecting 3D data and 3D models in augmented reality. This is very useful for examining models in greater detail 
being able to visualize and see what the model will look like in real life. Therefore, it can also help with the prototyping part of design. The third level is adding sensors to your data. This poses a good method to portray, portray digital data coming from the sensors, allowing the users to monitor their product and gain valuable information from what they require. Being able to say, for example, monitor the battery life of a product or the fuel, say, for example, in a product means that you'll easily be able to see when a product will need maintenance and you'll easily be able to maintain the product in a good state. The fourth level is augmentation, using various types of animation to interact with the model and potentially see how it will react in different given scenarios. For example, as you can see in the slide, a visual cue to help change the batteries of a remote. Finally, the fifth level will encompass all the other four levels in a neat package, allowing multiple interactions and the ability to select various features and options. As you can see on the top right, one of the main benefits is having multiple different scenarios where it all re revolves around one product and you can select different options to further see information and deal with the product accordingly. This leads on to the valuable use cases of augmented reality at a high level. The following use cases demonstrate what you can do with AR. For example, you can observe CAD models in details, as mentioned before. You can see how it will look. You can see if you need to make any adjustments to your model. And in terms of prototyping, it will help get the model out in production at a faster rate. It can be used as an instructional aid. Say, for example, you give out a product to a consumer. Rather than having a paper instruction manual, they can use augmented reality to see exactly how to use the product. It can also be used for maintenance and servicing. If a user needs to change a part, augmented reality can show you how to change it, where the part is, how to get to the part, how to change it, and how to replace the said part. It can also be used to monitor the data for anomalies. This is really useful for products out in the field. If you have, say, vibrational feedback and there is a limit to which this can go to, monitoring that data can help prevent any downtime. So yeah, there's quite broad possibilities with what you can do with augmented reality. In today's world, we can see some clear examples of physical and digital convergence with smart products that stream data about their performance and usage. For example, smart connected products on the top left. From complex systems to even simple consumer orientated examples like the Babel Up tennis racket that monitors a player's performance and provides data feedback, allowing possible tips to be displayed on how to improve his play a smart manufacturing industry. Device connectivity and data analytics enable a closed loop, real-time digital thread that connects people, systems, and equipment inside factories, allowing for, the, for a smoother production line and greater monitoring capabilities, again, reducing possible downtime. Servicing and maintenance on the bottom right. You can remotely monitor diagnose and repair smart connected products and factory equipment with IoT and AR without the need for multiple visits to the site. Increasing customer satisfaction and reducing the costs with the remote service. And finally, in the bottom left, left smart cities and worksites. ThingWorks enables you to deploy IoT applications that connect manage, 
and optimize devices into a system of systems for use in smart cities and work sites, making it easier to manage multiple sites and locations at the same time. Here you can see an AR example experience. This is something that I put together in probably less than 15 minutes. And it enables ThinkWorks, this is using ThinkWorks Studio, which enables you to quickly create, deploy, and consume game-changing AR experiences. These AR experiences enable you to better create, service, operate your products and operations by providing digital insight in the context of physical world around you. I'll now demonstrate what it is like to have an experience in augmented reality. So in my home, I'll just go to the ThingWorks View app. I will then scan my ThingMark. And there you have it, a simple augmented reality version of my model. I can use a slider at the bottom to rotate the model. I can physically move around it, get a better insight, say for example if I want to go inside the product. I can see inside it. And with the bottom on the top left, I can have it exploding out to see all the various parts and components. And at the same time, I can still rotate it around. I can physically zoom in, have greater detail of what I want to see. And this is good because it allows me to visually see the product and see if it is exactly what I wanted and see if it's up to standard. And then I can bring it all back together. And yep, I'm happy with the model. So to make an augmented reality experience like this, it's quite simple. All you need is the CAD model. And through Creole Illustrate, a animation that blows out all the components and then another Illustrate sequence that contracts them all back in. So in the bottom left of this slide, you can see the resources. So I would add a resource, and I would add the CAD model and the Illustrate sequence. I would then add, in the widget section, a thing mark to the field and a model, and then associate the CAD model and the animation to that model. I will then, as you can see on the right side of the slide, move to the 2D section where I would find the rotation of the CAD model to a slider and I will also attach the figure and the sequences to a button. Now in total this is quite a simple model and it only takes about, as I said, 15 minutes to do, but it's really great to demonstrate what the product look like, looks like, why it can be used for, and if the product is up to standard and it's to your liking. It's also good to demonstrate it to consumers. Say, for example, you're at a store and you're selling this product. One benefit of this is you can easily demonstrate how it is if you don't have it in stock or if you don't have it in the store. You can use it as a catalog method where you can open a catalog, scan the thing mark, and visually show them how the model or the product looks like. So what does this mean for a business? Being able to prototype in an AR system allows you to observe the model in greater detail and visually see if the product is up to standard, which in turn means there is a shorter time for product release. As this technology is all managed through IoT technology, it is easier to send updates through to the experience, meaning 
a product can have new flair when it needs to, and it will maintain its value for a greater period. Being able to monitor products and predict when any anomalies may be due to occur will effectively allow you to respond before any major issues take place, which in turn will reduce the downtime again that customers may witness. Finally, and importantly, you'll get an edge over competitors as you can provide a more advanced service that creates large amounts of opportunity while saving time and costs. So to summarize, we have spoken about the importance and growth of AR and IoT. We've spoken about the different levels of maturity that can be used in an AR setup, the, the different use cases that this allows and its broad possibilities. We've had a brief look at a simple experience to observe a model in detail and how this was put together. And finally, the business opportunities this can create and what that would mean for the business on a high level. Thank you for your time. I hope this was helpful and gave you a bit of an insight. We will get back to you with your responses, with responses to your questions shortly. Thank you.